do you think that um, being in Asheville uh, influences your art at all? It uh, doesn't influence the work itself because I get my inspiration from nature, so actually I could get my inspiration from any place that I live, probably, as long as I'm near nature. Yes, um, this is actually one of the place, top places in the country for photographers, like everybody's a photographer and you see so many different types of photography and it, every time I see someone so I'm just like, wow, that's really cool, I can do something like that and just being around the different people, and, um, I really like photojournalism and so I just like to document the different personalities that are in Asheville and the things that happen here. I think we have a pretty interesting city for that. What is uh, your favorite medium you like to work in? <clears throat> what are you working in now? Well, I'm working, uh, this whole series that I've been working on for the past 14 years is all acrylic. Um, prior to that, I worked in other mediums, but I just uh, found that acrylic answers everything that I need for the type of work that I do with a lot of texturing and then the trunk boy realism. So uh, that uh, kind of locked me into working with acrylics. I tried oils and didn't like them. I tried watercolors and didn't like them. Did a lot of pen and ink uh, years ago, some colored pencil and graphite drawing and still do some graphite and colored pencil work uh, when I have time. but. Right now, with the concentration on my uh, painting, I end up working with acrylics just about all the time. What makes you like uh, photography as, I guess, your favorite medium to work with? Photography, I think it came from a love of memories. And when I was younger, I felt this need to capture every moment that happened. So ever since I was a little kid, I've always had a camera and been taking pictures. Um, and then that just kind of turned into having tons of pictures everywhere and my friend saw that and one day a friend of mine was getting married and she's like, will you take my wedding picture? So I'm like, okay. And once I did that, I just started thinking more about doing it for a living and just pursuing it more instead of just always doing it for fun. Um, which it still is fun, but I guess that's kind of where it started was the whole needing to capture every moment for my own personal memory. Anything that you really like about living in Nashville? Uh, the restaurants. <laughs> uh, place has great restaurants. Uh, and of course, like I said before, the, the art scene, the, the culture here for such a small city is, is just unbelievable. Um, any evening you can go downtown and find something interesting to do or places to go and see and just explore. It's just a great city for that, that reason alone. What is, uh, I guess, what are some of the favorite things you like about this town? <clears throat> about Asheville? It's weird. <laughs> you know, keep the freak in Asheville. Um, it's so different. I've traveled a lot. Uh, growing up, we went all around the United States and I love so many different places, but Asheville feels like home. Um, it always feels safe to me, and I know it. I just love the people. There's such an interesting dynamic of different personalities, and I think there's just so much to be inspired by here, whether it be art, culture, people. The music scene is amazing. Um, just all that stuff. But. Is there anything that you dislike about living here? No, maybe I haven't lived here long enough. 